everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So for this week's review, we're going to be testing out the TikTok famous NYX Marshmallow Primer. Now this is one that apparently has so many different properties, I am actually gonna have to read them off my phone. So allegedly this primer has 10 different benefits and I'm gonna read them all out for you now. So this primer is supposed to help smooth, soften, extend your makeup wear for up to 16 hours, softens, hydrates, even skin tones, minimizes pores, blurs fine lines and adds a soft focus finish as well as keeping your makeup looking fresh. Now instantly, just because of my skin type, I am drawn to the fact that there doesn't mention anything about mattifying the skin. That's always like my main focus when it comes to primers, just because if you guys don't already know, I am very oily skinned naturally. So I'm wondering how this primer is gonna help with my skin type in particular. It might work great, it might not, who knows? And it will also work different for somebody else. So what you can expect within this video is that I'm going to be showing you guys what the primer looks like as soon as I apply it to my skin, do a bit of a wear test, so I'll show you some before pictures, talk to you about how it applied and how it sort of mixed with my normal makeup, and then I'll show you a clip from at the end of the day, just so we can compare the two clips to see how well it actually helped my makeup stay on. If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on to be told every time I post. I also will leave my social media links on the screen. I've got an Instagram, Twitter, and a TikTok. I'd highly recommend you follow me on all of these, but the main one is Instagram. If for some reason you don't get a notification from YouTube telling you that I've posted, I also let you guys know on my Instagram stories when my videos go live. So I'm not gonna lie, compared to when I start most of my videos, I usually do them a lot earlier in the morning. Unfortunately, today was a little bit of a slow starter, so I did apply my makeup at like quarter to 12. I'll put a clip on the screen of me actually applying the primer whilst I talk you through it. So the first thing I noticed was the consistency was really weird. Like it was a lot thicker than the normal primers that I use. Hold my horses. Before we go into that, first of all, I absolutely love the packaging for this. You guys will know that I'm an absolute sucker for a baby pink moment. I also love the black against the pink as well. I just think it's very striking. It's very simple, but it's also very effective. To take off the lid, there's actually a really nice pump on the inside. I find that this is best for products just because it means you have somewhat control over how much product you're using as well as making sure that you do not contaminate the rest of the product. With, for example, a concealer that has like a doe for applicator, you would usually take that out of the tube and tap it onto your skin and put it back in the tube. If you have any type of bacteria or like active spots that you tap that concealer onto with the applicator wand, it will go straight back into the tube and completely contaminate all of the products and that is why I love primers that have like a squeezy tube or also a pump just because it means that you are less likely to contaminate the entirety of the product first go. As you'll see from when I pump it onto my fingers it has a really strange consistency it kind of like melts into your skin in a way which is really nice. It smelled amazing like genuinely smell of marshmallows. It almost was I'm gonna I don't even want to say it. it's like marshmallows when you either melt them down or like chew them a little bit. I know that sounds really gross but you probably Probably will agree with me if you try this primer out. So I applied two pumps just because I think I've got quite a big face and a very large forehead. So naturally I think I need more product than the average person. I'm kidding, I don't really think that. It's just so I can apply some of that product down my neck a little bit, just because it's got all of these nice and caring properties. I would like that to go onto my neck as well as on my face. I warm that product between my fingers before tapping it into my face. I tap it into my problem areas first, so in my T-zone, all around my mouth and on my cheeks and on my chin. And then I go in and tap into the rest of my face just because I feel like this lower part of my cheeks here and like the top of my forehead, those areas of my face don't need as much help as the others. So just went and started to blend that product outwards, tried to apply everything with an upwards motion, but sometimes that's harder than others to keep up. The product smoothed and blended really nicely into my skin. Honestly, it did leave a little bit of a cast onto my face, but that may have been because I've used too much product. I'm not really sure. I always let my primer sit on my skin for a minute just so it has time to soak in before I start applying the rest of my products. One thing that I noticed was that my skin looked really smooth. It looked kind of like glass because it was so shiny, but not in a like, oh, you look oily. It was more like, oh, you look healthy. Similar kind of look, but very different concept. My skin felt very hydrated. Like I said, looked really smooth. It just, it smelled amazing. All that stuff was great. However, I was still in the back of my mind, kind of worried about the whole oily skin thing. I don't actually have any clips of me applying the rest of my makeup, but I will be showing you a clip of what my skin looks 
like straight after I applied my makeup and like I said that was around about quarter to 12 in the morning. I know that that's barely the morning but it still technically is class of the morning so we're gonna go with it. My makeup looked really smooth, it applied really nicely, there weren't any problems or anything like I was worried that maybe my makeup wouldn't set very well or maybe the ingredients wouldn't mix well with my normal makeup products but it was literally fine. My skin looked super smooth, really healthy, hydrated, glowy. You couldn't see any of the pores on my skin. It didn't like go funny in different places because I've had it in the past where my makeup kind of doesn't react well with the primer and it just kind of like peels away sometimes. Even though this is a hydrating primer and probably would be absolutely amazing for somebody that had dry skin. Unfortunately, I don't have that so I'm gonna have to talk from my experience. I went throughout my normal day to day. Um, I didn't do a lot. I just kind of potted around the house. Obviously it is locked down so what else can you do? I kind of went outside for probably like 20 minutes or something. I also had a really long nap because I had a massive headache so I think I had like a two hour nap but I came back and took a couple of clips of my makeup before I started filming this video because I didn't do any touch-ups or anything during the day. I only did one just before I started to film and it's actually quarter past seven now so I've been wearing this makeup for around about six-ish hours maybe just a little bit over and even though my skin looks crazy oily my makeup is still completely intact like even after having a fat nap like you know the sleeps that you have where you wake up and your pillow is dented your arms like that was the deep sleep that I was in like I said didn't do any touch-ups other than just before I did this video so the clip that I show you now is like two minutes before I did that touch-up and yeah like I said my makeup was still completely intact it looked really smooth there was no texture on my skin really other than like genuinely quite large bumps that you really can't conceal but you can't see my pores or anything and if you are like a long time watcher of my channel you'll know that I've got a lot of texture a lot of pores especially underneath my eyes here and like around my nose you really can't see any of that so I was like uber impressed for a primer that retails for 15 pounds I would say that this is pretty good it's true to what it says about smoothing there's no creasing around where I would have naturally like smile lines or anything I usually complain as well that my makeup rubs away in certain areas of my face like on my nose or on the tops of my cheek when I have a mask on it's all still there it's still there and I'm very happy about that. I was worried because sometimes when you mix primers with foundations or other makeup products that aren't from the same brand or maybe like have ingredients that link up, they can kind of reject each other sometimes. I just went with my gut, I just did my normal makeup routine, literally same foundation, same everything, concealer, powder, whatever, went on like a treat. So I'm very happy with this. Like I said probably about 15 times in this video now, I am naturally very oily skinned. So if you are like me and you wanna try this primer but you don't want get super shiny or anything I would recommend setting your foundation with a setting spray before you apply the rest of your makeup and then doing it after just to kind of really lock everything in also would highly recommend patting a lot of loose powder onto the areas where you struggle with the most so for me that's the forehead around my nose under my eyes to stop my under eyes creasing and on my chin make sure you pack on the product and then set it with a very good oil controlling setting spray if you've got one if not I would highly recommend investing in one of those Considering this is supposed to be a hydrating primer, this is not the oiliest I've ever been using a hydrating primer, so I really can't complain. The pros massively outweigh the cons with this. Relatively inexpensive, you get 30 mil of product within this, I think. Yep, 30 mil. It's cute, it's affordable, it's accessible as well. It smells amazing, your skin's hydrated. So overall, really like this primer. Well done TikTok for putting me onto it. So that is it for this week's video, testing out the TikTok famous NYX Marshmallow Primer. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know. It really does help me out a lot. I will also leave a link to this product in the description in case you want to try it out for yourself, along with my social media. So if you haven't already, for whatever reason, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, follow me on all of those as well as subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Link will be in the description as well as on the screen. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay safe stay indoors as much as possible and I will see you next time for another video. Bye guys! Mm -mm -mm -mm.